Hello everyone, how are you? Happy New Year. Nothing good? Yeah, doing a video vlog today. And that was very good a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Liverpool Swansea, 5 nil, Anfield, perfect. Now, today, Leicester at Anfield. They are somewhat, you know, they, they need some help, they need some results, they need some wins. And we are doing good. Very, very good indeed. But, you know, the usual Liverpool sometimes. We go down, sometimes we go up, it's good that way, no, but I don't want to you know, say that, I prefer it that way, nobody does. And not to forget, we signed VVD, Brazil Van Dijk, he will be a little player, I think uh, in three years time, yeah, from January 1 that is, and but the main thing here is do we need another CV? I think yes, not now in the summer. Liverpool need another centre back. Very, very important. So, yeah. So let's talk about centre backs. Uh, Joel Mativ, uh, Ragnar Klavan, Dejan Lovren. Who will be our first choice? I prefer Mativ. He's good. And uh, an, an idea of having two centre backs very tall in the heart of your defence that sounds very good. What happens when there needs to be a rotation? What happens if someone, when you know, Matip gets injured or like uh, when they gets uh, a few game off or whatever? So, who comes in, Klavan or Lovren? Um, I think I will. I will give not to Klavan first. If Lovren is like in very good momentum during training and all that, that will be a different thing. But form-wise, game-wise, confidence-wise, Ragnar Klavan will be my centre back and. Uh, Ahead of centre back, I think we need to go for a CDM, but I'm not sure if that will happen now in January. Thomas Lima is there; he's not a proper CDM. He's somewhat attack-minded, but uh, we need we need a proper, you know, instrumental, industrial CDM, and maybe in the summer. Philip Coutinho, what will happen to him? Lima is his replacement or all? We don't know as of now. If someone says they know all, they are Jesus or God or are utter bullshits. So. In the summer, let's leave summer to summer. Talk about January. Name is has been popping up here and there, Manuel Akanji, and uh, I don't think we are going to sign Akanji, right? In January, I don't see the region or I don't see the places where he will be fitting, and I don't see why Liverpool are, will be eventually getting him right now. And it comes from Basel. People are asking, oh, how how does he play and what are his strengths and weaknesses? Stop pretending people, nobody watches the Swiss League, doesn't come on TV and there are no hardcore people here who go online and follow Swiss League and watch Akanji every day on the TV. Stop pretending, right? Nobody knows how Virgil van Dijk plays. How many matches you have watched in a year? Two, three, four? That too may not be in, in a sequence. Or like you watched four continuous matches of Southampton, Virgil van Dijk was very good. What if he was going through a very good run? Uh, let's talk about Leon Goretzka. People say like, oh, he's this and that, this and that. Who fucking follows Salke there for for an entire season? I don't. People know like, oh, he's in good form through media, through journalists. They're like, put it out there, we read it, oh, yes, good. And sometimes we watch it on TV, oh, he was good, yes. But who follows them for an entire season to judge? Can you tell me how does Adam Lallana play? No, we have divided opinions among ourselves. So stop pretending as if people know everything about football and everything about all the leaks and all. It's not possible, people. It's very difficult unless it's a job. Stop being abnormal people. We are normal people. We have, we have our life. We have our job in our all. We are TV once in a week. Yes, football once in a week or maybe sometimes twice or thrice in a week. You know, but that will be limited up to Liverpool or sometimes you are, you you have nothing to watch and French League is there, you, you watch a few teams. La Liga is there, you watch a few teams. But you don't follow a particular player or like sets a player week in and week out to be very, very judgmental, to put out an opinion. But Google is there, go on, watch something on YouTube. And <clears throat> yes, as, as I took a name, Leon Goretzka, I'm sorry if that's not the way to pronounce. I think you got the idea. Emre Kant, what will happen to him? Leave, go, stay, whatever. I think th there is some connection between these players. I 
really want to see Emre Khan here next season too. I don't think we need to be losing him. But if his mind is all made, all made up, he if he wants to go to Juventus or Bayern, whatever, I think he will go to Juventus. But let's see what will happen. I don't want him to go to Juventus. I want him to stay here and be a Liverpool player, give 100%. That boy is a, one of the biggest talent we, we have right now. And if you haven't realized yet, pray to God. Uh, start watching American seriously. Also, let's talk about Leicester a bit. Uh, Brazil Van Dijk will be a Liverpool player in two days. Best news. But today, if we, you know, kill the game within the first half, if we take our chances, if we stay clinical, if we go, if we do all the fiery stuff and all, no chance Leicester. But if we play like we did against Swansea, the first half against Swansea, Leicester will kill us. Definitely, because they know they need to attack in the second half and they will do. So we need to go out, first half, score two or three goals, be very clinical, take our chances, take the game under our control and do not let Leicester in any space. Also, I don't know why can't we score a goal in the last 10 or 15 minutes of the game. We can do it, uh, you know, in the last 5 or 10 minutes of the first half, but not of the second half, I don't know why. We need to improve on that. Yoga need to improve us in that part. And because sometimes, you know, doing that help us to get some points, yeah, draw a game or win a game in the last minute. Those are very important. Also, I don't think, you know, Leicester will take us easily and, and we not we should not take Leicester easily as well. They will not because they know our team. Everybody in the league know our team. But we need to take Leicester very seriously, kill the game in the first half and then build on in the second half and that's it. We need to you know, just take the three points, no mercy, nothing and move on. So yeah, I think those are the things I'm going to talk about today. Comment below what you feel. For this video, I know I made 1,000 mistakes, I counted it straightforward. And uh, if you give me a good response, if there is a good response, if you say like, oh, this was good, you need to continue, I might continue, I might do some blocks now and then. And also keep on improving on my mistakes. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but if you, you are my energy. Thank you with all the help. And thank you for watching. Happy New Year. And 3.2 nights. You'll never walk alone.